Now he's back tonight in place of Kadri, who's unfortunately out injured. Yeah, having the best start of his career, and we are underway here at Ball Arena as the Wings win the draw on Lenny. We'll set it into the ab zone, played behind the cage by Kemper. They work 10 times harder off the ice when they're not playing to get back in the game. So everybody wants to get back and play, and they come back in primo condition. He was on the road trip, did practice, whipped up top. McCarr finds tape straight away. Wrist shot, score! I believe it was deflected. I'm not sure what it went off of, but the Vaughn Taves from way downtown continues to rip that puck. And the Abs have taken an early 1-0 lead. Oh, Taves just secretly putting up gaudy numbers that nobody's talking about because Kale McCarr is a story. Now, where's JT Comfer? He's in front. I seen him shake his head when he went over to Devon Taves in the celebration, so I don't think he got it. Let's see the Super Bowl. Great luck right here. I'm going to say that's JT Comfer. I am too. I think it went off the shaft of his stick. It certainly looks like it just barely deflected and maybe went off the... Ripped up for Jack Johnson to Gerard one-timer, and Rice never saw it. He stayed like a statue at the top of his crease. Wow. New hook dangling. New hook gives it off one-timer. Score! Andre Burakovsky picks above the top of the far circle and rips it inside the near post pass Grice. The Avs have a 2-0 lead for Burakovsky. By Valda Burakovsky, and then... That Alex Newhook, man, does he have quick hands. He was going from the net for the quick little pass over to Burakovsky. Look at the flex on that stick. He's had one goal his last nine games. And Stark his nose, and now Jack Johnson with a wrap-up on Larkin. Larkin got punished. Here's Obi Kubel. The Habs just exploding out of their own zone. A breakaway for Helm. He'll shoot and score! Darren Helm rips one past the blocker of Grice. He burns his former team, and the Habs have exploded for three goals here in period number one. They've got a 3-0 lead. What a slick little pass from Abe Kubel. Look at that little sauce pass. Helm comes in. He just put 14 years in the rear view mirror right there, folks. That's where he spent it. All that time with Detroit. That sweet little backhand pass. And it's damage control time for Detroit here, Moj. Yeah, the Avs have chased Tomas Grice already here in period number one. Burakovsky through traffic, walks in. Andre had it stripped away, and it's a two-on-one for Detroit back the other way. Here they come into the zone. Suter looks in. Centering pass, shot, score. Vladislav Nemesnikov able to put it home with under a minute to go in period number one. And the Wings get one back. It's now a 3-1 game. And right here, Burakovsky just gets his pocket picked last second there. That was a tremendous back check and pickpocket. And right here, you just can't let the pass across. It's as simple as that. Jack Johnson's got to keep that man on the side. Climbs too far over, across the net, no chance. Saucers it ahead, looking for EJ. It's into the zone, and the abs are onside. Philip Aronik, off the glass, and out it comes. Got ahead by Valeno. Backhand flip, score! Oh, no! The Red Wings have made it a 3-2 game as Darcy Kemper, I believe, would like to have that one back. And this is really going to give Detroit some life. You can see he comes in real harmless. You got two guys on it, just pushes the far side. And Moj, I think the worst part of this goal is it's not the five hole. It actually sneaks under the right pad. This is a great look. No, that's pure five hole. Kemper puts his head up. He knows. We know. Into the near circle, centering pass, Sutter got clipped, and the Avs have an opportunity the other way. Here comes McKinnon to O'Connor. They'll fly into the zone, trying to go back to McKinnon, broken up by Lenny. Stuffed up top for Landis, gone far side, one-timer, and scores! Nathan McKinnon at the top of the circle. Rips one past Nadelkovich, and the Avs do get it back. Right from the turnover right there. Gabe Lannescott creates it. McKinnon gives it to Logan O'Connor. <laughs> Maybe he should have kept it, although Logan's playing so well. But how about the knockdown by Devon Taze? And then the one time over to Nathan McKinnon. Look at that. He's saying, throw it over to me. And when the puck's going to start to go in for him, it will go in, no pun intended, avalanches. There was a time last year, one behind last year's total output. A 38-second answer by the Avs. Out in front, backhand, and score! Right off the faceoff, his second of the night. Andre Burakovsky, a little dangle, a little backhand flip. And the Avs have pushed the lead back to three goals. Burakovsky's 
Eighth goal earlier, his ninth goal right now. All-time rarefied air. What a play off the faceoff. Burakovsky left all alone in front. We're talking 36 goals in six games. And we still have a period plus 15 minutes to play. Look at Miko just coming across. Somebody blew an assignment there on Burakovsky. It is hockey, pretty much. A lot of these guys played hockey or some kind of hockey experience. Um, and, and it's just, you know, you're, you're looking to move. move oh, move. good God! Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to add. I was listening to Andy, but I sort of wasn't. Gerard. As you see the boys working it around the old triangle there. Not really a triangle, but a nice cross pass, and then we're gonna find a little bit of action down low right there. Well, and Sam Gerard and, just skating to the open slot. And using the screens. You just go with your gut the way the Avs have been playing in the last month of the season, last month and a half. It's been remarkable. Let it down the final 15 seconds. One timer score. Philip Aronic. Rams it inside the near post. It's now a 6-3 game. That's a power play goal. And Veronica just with his third of the season. One time shot. Take a look at it right here. It's a clean loss right across. The hardest part for me on that Moge is, yeah, I know it's across. Slick tic-tac play, but there's no screen in front. Oh, I'm not a goaltender, but you'd love to be able to see him get over there and read that play. Turn pass to Letty, kick save by Dorsey Kemper. Larkin in the slot, Avs challenged him momentarily. Otherwise, he would have had a prime scoring chance. Another shot, and it's fought off by Kemper. And another blocker saved by Dorsey Kemper. Avs in the five on three, McCarr. Another nine seconds to go in it. Can they get his shot off? McKinnon one-timer, save by Nadelkovic. Rebound, it's underneath him, and he'll hold on with three to go. It's like he's playing uh, whack-a-mole, just trying to hit that puck. There it is, you can see it, folks. Veronic back on the ice for Detroit. No worse for wear, apparently. And Larkin steered it off. Quick centering pass knocked away. McCarr, he'll send it all the way down, and he will score. Kale McCarr with an empty net goal. His 12th of the season. Let's take one more look at it. The cross to the... Low spot into the slot, stolen by McCarr, and he's not going to miss. Straight down the ice. So the Avalanche will improve to 32 points. They've now won six in a row with Paul Arena. They put 48 shots on the Red Wings goalies, and they win by a final score of 7-3. to three. Nathan McKinnon.